spend much time on each of this but if there is any question or if there is any doubt we can certainly get back to this so <clears throat> what we are saying is that through these exercises exercise 1 and 2 that we are going to work with we are trying to explore ourselves right we are trying to explore things that you know we are living with so ultimately if you see <clears throat> we are trying to explore things within and through this exploration we have want to explore into the whole you know kind of span of my you know living with right so the whole span of my existence okay, as a human being and you can see that my expanse of living as a human being ultimately goes up to the nature up to the whole existence so we we'll try to look into that you know, try to explore into the whole existence through our own self so we'll begin this exploration in this self and to begin with we'll explore the self first then the body then the whole existence that is how we we'll kind of try to unfold and if you look at ourselves we all have done lot of study that we all want to ensure continuity of happiness but we are not in a state of continuous happiness so that is the situation to begin with so we are trying to understand we are trying to investigate as to what is you know, really is the problem and how this problem can be resolved so with this background we are saying that ultimately we have to develop the right understanding in ourselves and we have to purify our sanskars our feelings and thoughts that we have accumulated in the past so that we can make sure that every moment i have the right feeling the natural feeling the right thought so that i am in a state of harmony within and in a state of happiness within so that basically seems to be the purpose of this whole exercise so if you look at this you know in little more detail we see that the target of this exercise and for that matter target of any activity that human being does is ultimately to live live with satisfaction with fulfillment with continue with happiness and ultimately to live with continuous happiness so this is the purpose of any activity that we are performingly performing knowingly or unknowingly so so is the case of this particular exercise that we are doing the purpose of this exercise is to reach to this state of living with continuous happiness and in this context you know we have done lot of kind of exploration in ESB one and many of us have done it in ESB two and three and so on, uh, and we have found that ultimately, you know, if we look at uh, this living with continuous happiness, it it is related to the whole, you know, our human existence, which relates to the whole existence, and therefore, ultimately, we have to go right up to the whole existence. but if we look at the level of self the level of human being the level of myself i need to ensure three things to ensure continuity of happiness one is ensuring right understanding in the self second is ensuring right feeling and right thought in the self and third is developing the right competence necessary competence for right living with the world outside so these three things are important and in these three things you know the two things which are really important is this that at the level of self we have to ensure right understanding at the level of self we have to ensure right feeling and right thought and if you expand it in little detail it says right understanding of the existential reality starting from self to body to family society nature and ultimately the entire existence and when it comes to right feeling and right thought it has to do with right feeling right thought or feeling and thought of 
relationship harmony and coexistence in the cells and not otherwise so this is what we have to ensure between us right understanding in the cells right feeling and right thought in the cells and this is what we are trying you know going to work for you know throughout these exercises <clears throat> another important point we said was that if we have to live with something it mutual fulfillment we have to understand it if we want to understand something we have to see it we have to observe it and if we want to see it something observe something we have to pay attention to it so the basic issue is that we should be able to pay attention to all those realities which are of importance for me as human being so i should pay attention to them by paying attention we should be able to observe them see them by observing them we should be able to understand them so that we can live meaningfully with those realities so our focus therefore would be to start paying attention to all those existential reality which are related to my existence as a human being so in that sense we said that what we have to do is to pay attention pay attention to all that is of importance to me as a human being which relates to my existence as a human being so we'll do that and in that context we said the first important point to ask is that if we have to pay attention right what is the object of attention and what is the process of paying attention so this we were trying to unfold and we said that the object of attention is ultimately all that concerns our living as a human being so all that is you know concerns our living as human being i have to pay attention it i have to observe it i have to understand it so that i can live meaningfully with it through mutual fulfillment so ultimately i have to understand the whole existence because my being is related to the whole existence therefore i have to understand the whole existence right <clears throat> that is my object of attention then process of paying attention is very simple as we said just being aware being aware of the reality which i want to live with so i have to pay attention to that reality which i want to live with that is the whole existence ultimately so i have to pay attention to it and when i am paying attention to it i am being aware of it and when i am being aware of it it i can certainly see it observe it and understand it but one important point there is that when i am seeing it mostly i start reacting to it right by way of my past you know the conditioning by way of my past sanskar so what we have to do is is that we have to hold on right we don't have to react either positively or negatively we just have to observe just being aware without any reaction so this is what we said yesterday as the first step you know of our exercise that we want to do first thing is to be aware to be aware of whatever is in the reality that i want to you know perceive understand so be aware of that reality and just be aware without any reaction without trying to hold on to it or you know remove it just be observant just be aware just see it just observe it no reaction so this is the process of paying attention of course we'll try to work out you know the further details of this process of paying attention but this is the running thread that i have to be aware of the reality that i want to see understand the bit but i have to observe it without reaction so these two things we said so the object of attention is the whole existence 
and process of attention is that I am being aware of that reality. I am observing the reality without reaction. So now coming to the first one, the object of attention is the whole existence that we just said. Now what we find that if you look at this existence as a whole, this is in the form of coexistence, which is in the form of units submerged in space. And if you look at the units, we have two types of units. We have the units of consciousness and we have the units of material. Right? And when I look at the whole existence, I can see that these units of material and units of consciousness are submerged in space. So ultimately, I have three things to understand. I have to understand this consciousness unit, this self. Then I have to understand this units of material. Right? And this one of the examples of material world is the body, my body which is nearest to the self. So we'll try to understand this body, our interaction with the body and so on. And then ultimately we have to understand and therefore, you know, in order to understand, we have to pay attention to this whole existence. And in that coexistence, which is in the form of coexistence, the major point to focus apart from material in the consciousness unit is the space. So basically in step, in ex, you know, <laughs> we have to observe this coexistence and particularly we have to observe the space. So these are the things in existence, the consciousness unit, the material unit, and the coexistence, the space that we have to understand. Therefore, we'll try to understand this three basic fundamental realities through this process of exercise that we are going to talk about, that we are talking about. So we'll have basically three exercises. Exercise one is to understand the consciousness, the self in detail. Exercise two is to understand the material units in detail and particularly we will study about the body which is a material unit in detail and third exercise three will you know in exercise three we want to discuss ultimately the coexistence the space right but in this sessions we will just briefly mention about this exercise three and leave it for you to <coughs> work on it because this exercise three calls for certain minimum level of our you know, kind of, uh, development of the self. But we can certainly introduce it and leave it for you to keep kind of uh, working on it as and when you have time. Right? But first two exercises we will take it, take them in more detail and you know, try to get through this morning session. The idea of the morning session is that we can initiate this process of self-observation, self-awareness, self-evaluation, but ultimately, you know, it has to go on every moment, every moment throughout the day, and it is possible that we will see towards the end. So, we have to understand this consciousness, the material, the coexistence, the space, <coughs> and Another thing which is important is to decide who is this seer, right? who is the one who is seeing things, who is observing things. And we found that it is not the body. Body is used as an instrument. The eyes are used as an instrument. But it is basically the self who is being aware, who is the observer, you know, observer the seer. And therefore, things have to be centered around the self which is the seer, which is the observer. So with that clarity, what we are saying is that in exercise one, we'll try to see the self by the self. That is the consciousness, observing the consciousness. In exercise two, we'll work on seeing the body by the self. That is observing this material unit by the consciousness unit. And exercise three is seeing the coexistence by the self seeing the coexistence by the self. And if you look at the coexistence, 
right? We can see it as relationship between units, which is already existing and which we can see, right? Of course, we can see it as a gap also, but there you do not get the feel of the space or the coexistence being something very important, you know, playing an important role. But uh, uh, if we start looking at it in terms of relationship, yes, we are able to see that there are things which are related to each other in a mutually fulfilling manner without us doing it, you know, anything about it. So all the three orders are anyway busy with this mutual fulfillment you know, through transaction right, between them in coexistence in space. So these three exercises we have to do and we'll focus on exercise one and exercise two as I said. Three will just make a brief mention and leave it for you to keep working next time when we start exercise three with people who have developed a minimum level of competence, then probably will work on it in more detail. So with this, uh, another simple observation is that till now we have been working outside, paying attention outside, right? Because we th thought that the world outside is very important. Now with a lot of this self-investigation, self-exploration, we have found that outside world is important, of course, but the world inside is also important. And therefore, I have to take care of the world inside, right? So I have to look within, right? I have to look in, inward, right? And when I look inward, I am able to understand things. And when I understand things, I can now look outward in a much better way than I was doing before without having this you know, uh, journey inside where I understand myself. So ultimately what we want to do is this, that we observe inside and then you know, understand the self and then start observing outside. So understand the body, the family, the society and so on. But the core thing is to understand the self first. Right. Then with that understanding that we have in the self, with the feeling, right feeling that we have in the self, now we can interact with the world outside in a better manner. So as it says, within first, then in relationship outside. So we have the knowing and assuming by looking inside, and on the basis of this knowing and assuming, we have recognizing and fulfilling outside. In other words, we are saying pay attention inwards, and with that, pay attention outwards as and when required. So this is another interesting thing that we will see as we go on, that we don't need to pay attention to the body or things outside every moment. So as and when necessary, right, we will pay attention to the world outside. Otherwise, I am comfortable with myself anyway. So with this, we had started this observing the self by the self, that is exercise one. Right. And we made this statement that this exercise okay, is not something sacrosanct. This is one way, one possible way of approaching this understanding of the self by the self or understanding of the whole existence by the self. So it is one of the methods, one of the way to understand the existential reality, understand the human existence. So do not become a very sticky about it. Don't think that this is the only way. This is just one of the way which we have tried to work out and which may be suitable for us. But there have been many ways, many exercises, you know, ways to reach to this understanding of human existence or understanding of the existence as a whole. So keep in mind that this is one of the ways. And then when we are looking into the steps of this exercise, observing the self by the self, the steps are also not the, you know, kind of uh, only steps, right? They have been worked out looking at 
our competence at this moment of time. So looking at my competence, looking at your competence, looking at competence of everybody, these steps have been also worked out. But certainly, if our sanskar improves, we become better and you know, human being better self, then probably, you know, this steps can be redefined. But that is fine, you know, to begin with this much of alarm. So with this alarm, we'll uh, go to step one. Good. Of course, I, we said that when we are observing the self by the self, right, we don't have to involve the body. The best thing to see the self is to see the imagination. So we have to start observing our imagination. And when we are observing our imagination, you know, then we don't need to take help of the body or the eyes. Therefore, I can give rest to them and put them in any condition which is comfortable for the eyes, for the body. And then we'll start paying attention. So with that preparation, we have this exercise one, step one. And I said step one is very simple. I just have to be aware of my imagination. So whatever imagination is going on in the self, I just have to be aware. Whatever desire, thought, expectation is going on in the self, I'm being aware. Whatever feeling is there in the self at this moment of time, I'm being aware. So I'm being aware, but I'm not reacting. So slowly, if I'm not reacting and I'm observing, I will be able to see things clearly. I will be able to see things clearly first at the goal, gloss level. Right. As our capacity to pay attention becomes sharpened, right, we will be able to see the subtler and subtler things. But to begin with, we will start with simple things. Right? And just be aware of it. Whatever imagination is going on, whatever I can see at this moment, I just have to observe. I just have to be aware. I just have to see it. And that's all. So this we had asked you to do. Start doing yesterday. Right? Uh, you can work on it for another half an hour. Okay. When we are talking about it in Hindi. And if there is any question regarding step one, you can ask, you know, after this inspection in Hindi is over. So with this, I will stop my uh, share this thing, address in, Hindi, in English, and I can move on to this uh, English, Hindi one. तो ठीक है सारे छह बज गए ऐसे एक दो मिनट बचा है अगर किसी को इंग्लिश एनीबडी आई नो हैज सम क्वेश्चन आई कैन रिस्पॉन्ड जस्ट वन क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वी हैव टू मिनट्स लेफ्ट सो व्हाट आई सेड अबाउट दिस इंग्लिश 